Healthcare experts are saying it might be time to de-emphasize the number of new daily COVID cases and concentrate instead on hospitalizations and deaths. But my goodness, the rise in cases is extraordinary. Last week, almost 8,500 per day, but this week, 11,908, a 40% increase in the last seven days. Hospitalizations are very worrisome. 416 more people are hospitalized as of Friday, and 368 ICU beds are filled with COVID patients. 193 people have died this week, as we near 13,000 deaths since the pandemic began. The Omicron surge is also impacting the availability of teachers, and Oklahoma was already losing educators at an alarming rate prior to the pandemic. There will be legislation introduced in the next session to address that. And earlier this week, Governor Stitt weighed in with an idea of his own. With more on that, we're joined now by Taylor Jackson. Taylor. Rich, schools around the state are facing major challenges due to the teacher shortage. In results, Governor Stitt issued an executive order with hopes to bring in more substitute teachers to keep schools open. The governor's order, which took effect immediately, will allow state employees to volunteer their workday in the classroom. Uh, I'm authorizing the state agencies to allow uh, their employees to help keep kids um, in school by substitute teaching all across the state. Uh, many schools don't have the staff or the substitutes to actually fill every single classroom. As of Wednesday afternoon, 123 state workers have taken the governor up on his offer. I've heard from concerned Oklahomans who recognize uh, that the past few weeks have really created uh, some new challenges. Increased COVID cases in the state as well as staffing issues have resulted in some schools going virtual or canceling classes altogether. The vast majority of Oklahoma schools remain open, and that remains a priority for the governor's secretary of education. From the day that the governor appointed me as Secretary of Education in the middle of the pandemic, I began hearing from parents all across the state and students that were asking for in-person learning. Ryan Walters says virtual learning is no substitute for face-to-face -face interaction between teachers, students, and their classmates. We've seen throughout the pandemic the negative health impacts um, when it comes to the mental health of a young person, when it comes to the academics of young people that do not have in-person school. In addition to the governor's executive order, another program to address the issue was announced by State Chamber of Oklahoma President and CEO Chad Warmington. And so we believe that employees have valuable skills that can be brought to the classroom to support students in schools. The Guest Educator Program Initiative encourages private businesses and their qualified employees to get involved. Our immediate goal with the guest educator program is to make businesses aware uh, of the role that they can play in ensuring that students are able to continue learning in their classrooms. Warmington says he also plans to work with Senator Jessica Garvin, who recently proposed two bills to address the teacher shortage. What we really hope is that this program will help build uh, the long term relationship between and partnership between local businesses and schools and subject matter experts. Subject matter experts could be available to work in classrooms uh, that would pay dividends to educating students on the future workforce needs of the state of Oklahoma. One of Garvin's proposed bills would allow local school districts to determine their own criteria for substitute teachers. And while both Republican and Democratic leaders agree the teacher shortage is severe, State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister, who's announced her candidacy for the Democratic nomination to oppose Stitt in the upcoming governor's race, says Stitt's action falls short of the mark. Hoffmeister released a statement that read in part, we all agree it is best for schools to be open, and I appreciate that the governor has finally recognized this crisis, but we need caring equipped teachers in the classroom for the focus to be on learning. This gesture is a cup of water on a raging fire. Hoffmeister, who sits on the OETA board, says the governor should use available federal COVID relief funds to immediately deploy the National Guard to assist school transportation and food services and do more to help schools mitigate the spread, allowing hospitals to increase capacity. I already appreciate teachers. Um, when I think back on my life, my public school teachers were the ones who um, lifted me up and encouraged me. Democratic State Representative Cindy Munson stepped up and filled as a substitute teacher at Santa Fe South Charter Schools in Oklahoma City last week. I had activities that I needed to do with them and, um, and, and continue the things that they were working on with their teacher. Um, but 
it was an incredibly humbling experience. However, Munson doesn't feel the governor's plan is fair to students or state workers. You know, asking state employees who are already underpaid and overworked, who have who are also living through a pandemic and helping, you know, the state of Oklahoma with the services that are so vital to every every citizen in the state. It's a lot to ask of some of people who are already serving the public, who are already working hard. Um, to serve our state while we live through this continued crisis. Munson says she would have preferred the governor emphasize public safety and mitigation to help slow down the spread of Omicron. The vaccine is safe and effective and, and it's helping communities slow down the spread and that that's the actual issue. That's why school buildings are closing. It's not because teachers just don't want to show up. Catherine Bishop, president of the Oklahoma Education Association, says the pandemic has taken a toll on everyone involved. This is what I see in our public schools. Adults doing every single thing they can to give our children the best education possible. Principals working as substitute teachers, coaches driving bus routes. We are still in a pandemic. Students are still getting sick. Educators are still getting sick. Governor Stitt also encouraged all Oklahomans to lend a helping hand in their community in order to keep schools open.